Tech Rabbit here again. Hi. So, it's the um, try start of the computer, but before I can try and actually switch it on, I have to go through some basics. So, um, I've connected the power cord, making sure that the power supply switch is off. Common mistake, though, actually, plugs in the power when the power supply is on. Um, oh, not a mistake. <laughs> Better not. Uh, I have a yeah, USB keyboard. Nothing special. I have a mouse. Not that I think we're going to need it for the dry stuff. Not connected enough. And then um, one should just basically look over the unit, see if one can find, see anything that looks odd, like wiring wise or. Or configuration. Then another good trick to do is to actually, um, you know, just to flip the fans, all of them, because I have actually started computers where I had a like a cable lying on a fan, and then the first thing that happens when you switch the computer on, you get a horrible noise, and then you freak out. So it's better to actually see that all the fans can. Uh, and there's the graphics cards fans, but I would assume that they should be, should be okay, otherwise it And the power supply fan, of course, that's the internals. So let's say all the fans that, that um, are more exposed to the external world. And um, I hopefully have the monitor set up to this because I'm using an HDMI switch for, to take the um, signal, uh, video signal, so let's see. Uh, yes, and so now when one starts up this one doesn't really know how it's going to react. So when I put it on, let's see if anything happens. Um, not yet. That's because I probably have to hit the power button. And of course it's on the front panel, which I can't see from here. Ah, annoying. I should have thought of that. some LEDs on the motherboard at least. Okay, that's interesting. So, ah, maybe the sleep power. Okay, and then we have the power switch up there in that corner. Okay, now I know where it is. It just <laughs> uh, You should always try <laughs> dress rehearsal. If it's a YouTuber. Okay, now then, let's see. I'm going to be blocking the picture now. Uh, where is it now? There. So it sounds like the power supply started. Let's see if we get any picture of any kind. Uh, nothing on the display. That's interesting. The power supply started up. Ah, no, look! Wow, that was a... For a completely new computer, I mean, how the heck could it take that long to... Okay... Sixteen gigs of RAM, let's see what we have here. Okay. But, um... That was a surprise. But it actually took so long to initialize itself. But anyway, we have a picture. Uh, let's see, here what do we have? We have the motherboard information. The memory is reported correctly. So that's 16 gigs. It's saying two, two keyboards. What? I have one keyboard. <laughs> ah, it might be this Microsoft USB that's screwing it, that it thinks that because I think you can actually get a Microsoft wireless keyboard and connect it to the same the same um, wireless transceiver. So it might be thinking. Of, okay, one mouse, um, and then it says that I have the two drives. Oh, but that's cool. Okay, 
So now I actually have never um, configured such a computer. New CPU installed, please enter setup to configure your system. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Uh, press the key on the correct keyboard, of course. Wow. You know, this is the cool thing with BIOS, uh, BIOS stuff. It's like, probably. Yeah, mouse works, you know, so it's like an embedded operating system. Good APIs and everything. Okay, look, we have four fans. Does it look like fan wise here? Let's see if we have any of them turning. Yeah, we have all three fans. No, all four fans are turning. And they're indicated in the in the BIOS screen looking pretty good and it says the correct um, slots for the memory yes there's only two populated kind of cool well, I didn't really expect it to usually one always has some problem some kind now um, since I'm not super proficient with um, configuring things, I will... There is only one thing I would like to change. Oh, but it's reporting the correct speed. Well, the memory also, so I don't think that even needs to be touched. Really nice. Okay, but anyway, it's boring, but I wonder if we just take F10. Um, okay, so now we should have a correct BIOS configuration. Now we'll reboot, store that stuff. Ah, I didn't check if it had recognized the, um, the sound card on the PCI bus. And this is uh, as expected because I actually don't have an operating system now installed, so this I'm not too worried about. Now what would be interesting is how does one get into, into the um, BIOS again, let's see if it's F10. Up ahead of time. Like, how do you get into the BIOS if it's already configured? Always use different keys. Uh, F2 then, last chance. Redo F2, and then I won't bore you anymore with this. <laughs> I actually don't need to get into the BIOS. It would just be. If I do, if I do right now immediately, then I just want to check if it um, recognizes the sound card on the PCI bus. Did I do it? Yeah, look at that. So it's F2. Ah, I just want to see... System tuning, ASUS block tuning. Normal or optimal? Nah, we use optimal. Let's hold. Let's hope we show it. Oh, it actually doesn't show what you have on the 
on the PCR bus. Probably have to wait until I um, actually um, install the operating system to see if we get the same problem or not. It would be kind of cool to be able to see what um, PCI cards are installed. Maybe make a video of going through the box. I'll see if I'll do that. I think I might have pressed the wrong. says something to keep settings. Just see that I actually kept the settings. So my conclusion is I think we have a working base unit here. system installation. Mm, take that. Be anything else to say about that? Not really into the super overclocking and stuff, so I think that that, um, that setting can hold them for initial purposes. And this is as expected because it has an operating system on the boot drive. Wow, that, this is cool. Plugged it in and pressed the power button and it worked. Doesn't usually happen for me. Usually there's always something that screw up. But anyway, hey, if you like this video, um, no click subscribe. And if you want to get notified of new videos, hit the bell. And um, yeah, uh, I will make the next video will be on OS install. And, um, and also, if you're not interested in the OS install, after the OS install, I'll break out some videos. I tend to go through like the fan control software is definitely something. Then it's the um, uh, checking that the sound card is actually available. What else can be of interest? Uh, I won't be making videos about installing all tools that I have or anything. Or, ah, if somebody wants to have it, then just add it to the comments. But, um, I don't have plans to do that. Because it'll just be the um, ah, video broadcasting software and editing software. AI subsystem software stuff. That I might make a video about. Installing the latest version of TensorFlow. And getting it right. But cool. But it was a surprise that it took so long to start. When I, put, so I was nearly going to say that it's not going to start. So it really took a while to um, configure it. So. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.